see all the frames lined up out this back door. The reserve products have some aluminum in that upper deck, like a traditional build, where you've got steel up front and then your mid deck, we call it, is built out of aluminum. Neither of these are reserves. Uh, but generally, a lot of products, you see one propane tank on a side. That's where the steel is going to come down on their upper deck. When we build the reserve, we still take the steel behind both propane tanks. That's why you still see our stacked front and back. Um, that'll take you from uh, steel coming into your unit like this to at least you got 30 plus inches coming through. The builds are going to be steel all the way back to the interior steps. The bigger your upper deck is, uh, the more space, I guess the bigger portion of your frame that your road stress is going to be dispersed across. Be where the stuff's going to be coming into the back of the unit. So that gives us a little bit of a shorter uh, main floor on these units. So that's what's getting built on this table. All your heat ducts can be ran through the flooring. Uh, your main, some of your main plumbing lines are going to go through the flooring as well. Stop about five miles up the road in Tijuana. So they build all our cabinet doors, our wood tops. Um, there's another local shop, Four Woods. They build our hardwood tops, and uh, another one over in Lagrange that builds all our styles for us and uh, like our interior doors. So we have a handful of wood shops local that we buy those things from. Then our guys are going to cut and assemble all the base frames for the cabinetry. They're going to put together all the islands. Um, that's all going to happen back in this corner. So you're going to see some cabinets stacked up over here. You know, all throughout the shop you're going to see stuff built a day or two ahead of time. Um, obviously it helps the flow through the plant. It also helps if the cabinet shops two days ahead on islands and they run out of countertops and we know the countertop company hasn't delivered. We got a chance of getting here in time to build the islands before they need to go in the unit. Whereas if we're doing the same day, there is no lead time to do that. Yep. That's the takeover. Yeah, that's so easy. That's part of the rest of the video. What are you we, taking? We took we 20 generators, generators oh. and we transferred them. That's yeah, the other day we noticed the whole big stack out there. Yeah, when we were here. Yeah. Cedar Creek uh, hooked us up, you could say. Do you run like I've seen? Well, I'm seeing here. The of the line, your complete, your hydraulic lines. Here's the walls all framed up. The walls are already skinned here. That's all inside. And then they just set them up here. Your exterior walls are going to be lifted up by this hoist you see back here, um, and they are going to be set on the sides of the unit. So this big table on the center is where we actually build our interior walls. So we have uh, rolled up laminate flooring that we have all of our walls drawn on. So if you ever been through our old plant, we used to have a wall built for every single unit that we would have to drag over and put the 40 or 42 foot wall on the table, and that was the guy. So now the wires are nailed in, they're just run through. Well, see in the wall. Oh, yeah, connected. in the wall, yeah. Yeah. But in the, in the ceiling, room, nothing? No. Okay. But see, you can even go in that wall, you could pull it out of there. The yeah. pulling it back is going to be a little tough. But you yeah, can pull it back. you can do it. I mean, it's, it's where it just gets, not fast where, now. where it gets a little tough is going around that curve. They call them UTV, un, or, no, they're unmanned. They're vehicles that run off sensors in the floor. They're a 45 foot mold. Um, flat mold goes through a booth. They track exactly how much gel coat is sprayed on every single wall. There's a barcode on the back of the wall they can scan. So at the end of the shift, they can run through their paperwork and see if there was over or under usage of material on any of the walls or any of the runs. Um, hardwood pieces, right? Your door jams down here on this rack are all hardwood. You're going to see some paper wrap stuff. It's mainly going to be like your wallboard color, ceiling color, your outside corner for some of your wallboards. Um, some of that stuff is going to be paper wrap, but you got to be to match the wallboard. Um, we do have some flat and outside corners, like this trim piece, that's a hardwood painted piece. So we do also have a lot of painted. Now your next day, dishwashers are unboxed. So. Like everywhere, every position in this line is prepping stuff a day ahead of time. Um, inside of the units, I probably should have had you pop your heads in one, one or two back, and then up here. But they go from... Here we're on the outside. 
finished units out here.